Hey guys, Kamsa here. So you want to fight multiple air targets but don't know how, then stay a while and listen. As always, the keybinds will be mentioned when we need them and you can also find them in the description. For our Wizzo friends, I will also mention if the keybinds are different than the pilot ones. Alright then, let's get started. Make sure your radar is set to on. To be able to shoot missiles, switch your master arm on. Take control of your radar by pressing castle switch long in the direction of the MPD, in my case left. First, conduct an IFF interrogation by pressing coolie switch left long as a pilot or AAI switch forward on the right hand controller as the whistle. If you missed it last time, dots are friends, so don't shoot the dots. Now, to switch to TWS, lock a target in STT or initiate a mini raster scan by using TDC press while not hovering over a target. The whistle should use HC trigger full action. Mini raster scan, auto acquisition aft. We are now in TWS H or white pattern mode. You can see the current TWS mode in the bottom left here. I will talk about the different modes later. To lock the target, slew your TDC with TDC slew and use TDC press for the lock. Repeat for up to 10 targets total. Wizzles use HC trigger full action. Your primary target or PDT is indicated by a big star icon. Secondary targets or STTs are indicated by an empty box. To undesignate a target, hover over it and press boat switch aft. Wizzle should use castle switch left. You can cycle your PDT by using coolie switch up or castle switch down as the whistle. Or select it directly by designating it again with TDC or HC trigger for whistle. Your PDT indicates where your missiles will fly to, so switch between every shot. Now use weapon release to fire your first missile. Use coolie switch up and whistle use castle switch down to change PDT and fire your next missile. Repeat until every target gets a present. To leave TWS, use Auto Acquisition Press. This was a quick version. Now some more details for you. The Strike Eagle has five different predefined main modes for TWS, which are designed to different use cases at different azimuth and bar settings, as well as refresh rate. You are not able to change the bars or the azimuths of the radar like in range while scan. You will have to switch to a different mode when you want to have a different scan pattern. Radar elevation can still be adjusted, of course. You can reach some modes from range while scan and others only when you are already in another TWS mode. The main method is to switch from an STT lock by using the auto acquisition in different directions. This also means you can't switch to your ACM modes while you have an STT lock. Make sure to return to search by using auto acquisition press before you try to switch to ACM. When you don't want to lock a target first, you can do the same commands after you initiated a mini raster scan through TDC press on area with no target return. HC trigger full action as well though. So also here, don't try switching to ACM while conducting a mini raster scan. All right, let's quickly check out the modes. Two TSSH or white pattern mode comes with a 2 bar and 60 degrees alimos. This is best used when you face multiple targets with a horizontal separation, like we have here. Tap Auto Acquisition Aft to switch from STT or when conducting a mini raster scan. You can see the current TWS mode down here on the left. Your best all round mode is 4 TWSH or medium pattern mode. It scans with 4 bars and an azimuth of 30 degrees. Use this when searching targets or just your, as your default TWS. There's a good overall coverage. To switch to it, just move your TDC to left or right and perform an AZ bump to switch between wide and medium. You see now I'm in medium and go to right, back to wide mode. 3 HDT or high data pattern mode has 3 bars and an azimuth of 30 degrees. This is best used against defending targets which are trying to dive or move vertically due to its quicker scan rate between bars. Tap Auto Acquisition Forward to switch from STT, Mini Raster or any other TWS mode. 2 HDT mode has 2 bars and an azimuth of 30 degrees. 
and is best used against maneuvering targets on the same altitude than you. Press Auto Acquisition Forward Long while in STT, Mini Raster or any other TWS mode. The last one has a very narrow 50 degrees azimut but 6 bars. Use this when the bandit group is stacking vertically without a large horizontal separation. You can switch to it by moving your TDC over the mode indicator down here while in one of the medium modes and press TDC. Now it says narrow. To switch back to the medium mode from the narrow or high pattern modes, just perform an AZ bump. Like so. so now we are in 4 TWSH to TWSH. To return to an STT lock from a TWS mode, just tap Auto Acquisition Aft. You can get more information about the contact without locking them by sampling. Just hover your TDC cursor over the target for some seconds. You will now see its vector, its altitude in thousands on the left and its speed and mark on the right. Very nice for situational awareness. Lock targets will provide this information after four radar hits automatically. Sample targets can also be auto-locked by activating the auto designation mode. Just hit auto on your MPD, seen by this box, and the radar will do it for you. So you just lock one target and the radar tries to designate the other targets as secondaries. If you manually undesignate a target, the computer will ignore it for auto designation and you can still designate on your own. Alright, I think we made it. This should be enough to get you going with TWS and the F-15E. Now go out there, throw some sticks, splash some bandits and help out some dots. Have fun.